So mm -hmm. ideally, I would have you evaluate the patient six weeks prior, which will give us six weeks of lead time to get them rewalk ready. Early on, I would be really practicing on the transfer skills in the clinic, uh, working from a low service to a high service, because when you do transfer into the rewalk, you do kind of have to bump over the side of the leg. So mm -hmm. getting someone confident with that, that type of transfer. Um, and then starting to slowly introduce just static standing tolerance in the clinic, whether that's using a standing frame from most supportive standing to um, standing parallel bars with knees locked out, um, using KFOs if they have them, just whatever you can do to be creative to kind of go from a super stable static standing to a less stable static standing in those first three weeks. Um, and then while the patient's at home, really focusing on improving the range of motion at their hip, knee, and ankle joint. Um, they can do that by laying prone in cobra for their hips um, and passively pushing themselves with their arms into more extension through their hips and their back. Uh, if they're long sitting on their bed, they can use a towel around the foot and pull their ankle into dorsiflexion, mm -hmm. which will also help stretch that, uh, that knee extension as well. Um, and then the, the second three weeks is gonna be kind of building on those foundations. So adding strength and dynamic components. So in the clinic, I'd be doing almost all activities in standing, just reaches in all directions, getting someone used to kind of reaching outside of their balance support and returning, because that happens a lot when you're walking with the rewalk. Um, adding weights, you could be doing any kind of strengthening exercises while standing. When the patient's at home, um, continuing mm -hmm. to progress the seated trunk uh, exercises, seated on maybe a less stable surface like a bed if they can tolerate, and then also including some of those reaches, giving them an exercise mm -hmm. band to continue to work on um, back strength and scapular control. Um, and then really specifically focusing on the cobra pose, but instead of using that passive push, mm -hmm. having them either push themselves into their end range of extension and then lifting their hands to hold that position and hold it as long as they can. So mm -hmm. um, that would probably be a great prehab program. I think if everyone did that before they used a rewalk for the first time, their experience would be light years better. This has been a highlighted clip from Rewalk's Topics in Neuro Rehabilitation web series. To watch the full episode, please go to the Rewalk Robotics YouTube page or visit the link in the comments below. See you next time.